Hey guys, what's up? This is Clay from Clay G's Hot Sauce, and this is my first, let's call it a maintenance video, or accountability video, or whatever the hell. Um, so, uh, basically, this is the second round of rolling fasts for me. Uh, we had an eating window last night. I shot my video for this week's Friday's Five Minutes of Fire, and it, it, it was a lot of fun. We tasted some good stuff last night. Yes, Bean. Uh, I apologize, I got the kids in the car with me today, so hopefully I'm not just screaming over them the entire time. Uh, we're actually on our way up to my mom's house right now, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about what it is that I'm going through. Um, so, basically, uh, I am allowing myself coffee. Uh, I take supplemental um, electrolytes, so magnesium, sodium, potassium. Uh, I'm making sure to keep my electrolytes elevated and to stay hydrated, uh, but I'm not eating any food. I am not drinking anything other than water and coffee, and I am gonna be doing my best to get back into 72 hour fast so hopefully I mean this is just the uh, first day and it's uh, about 12 15 right now and I'm already like I just want to eat um, and not really because I'm hungry necessarily and I've got a little bit of that but for the most part it's just I fell so far off the wagon from when I was at my peak physical fitness in basically my entire life, which was um, early, early 2020. Actually, really, it was late 2019. Um, and it's just been really difficult, man. Um, you know, a, a little bit of backstory. I was, I was doing really well. I was uh, at the gym lifting um, like four or five days a week. Um, days that I wasn't at the gym lifting, I was at my climbing gym and I was doing some rock climbing. And uh, I was really deep into my diet, doing really well. I was the lowest weight that I had been in my entire adult life. And I was feeling fantastic. I was wearing a size XL t-shirt and they were fitting me comfortably and I wasn't all self-conscious or anything. Uh, that blew my mind, by the way, the very first time that I tried on an XL. Um, we were actually on our way out to Las Vegas and Tiffany found a Ralph Lauren uh, t-shirt. She was like, you should try it on. I'm like, it's an XL. No way that thing's gonna fit me. Like one day, it's a goal, but you know, I'm not there yet. She's like, just try it on. So I did, and it fit, and I couldn't believe it. And I ended up buying like three or four things that day, all size XL. Um, and uh, you know, I, I really want to get back to that because I've got a bunch of clothes. I actually, I got really excited about going clothes shopping, which is not something that I've ever really experienced in my life. So I, I went nuts and bought a whole bunch of stuff that I really liked, and none of it fits me anymore. And that basically all kind of started when I injured my back late 2019. Um, I had a back injury that was so severe that I could barely walk for the first couple of days, almost a week. Like, uh, and I was in such pain all the time that my constant pain was pissing me off. Uh, I couldn't do anything and I had gotten used to a very active lifestyle. Tiffany was still working and I needed to take care of the kids. And I mean, she's still working now, but she was still working in an office and you know, there's nothing I could do about it. I had to take care of the kids. And I was laid up really badly, so. <laughs> Serena, calm down, baby. Um, so with me being laid up the way that I was, I wasn't able to take care of my kids the same way. I wasn't able to go to the gym. I wasn't able to take them to kids club or the mall. We couldn't go to Disneyland. Um, and so my lack of ability to do anything that I was used to doing, my lack of ability to care for my children and, and to help them get their energy out. Uh, I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't sleep comfortably. 
and that screwed up my diet. Like my whole mentality then just got me basically kind of apathetic and that was a really bad place for me to be in. Um, shortly after that, we had the whole holiday season, so now I'm in pain and it's the holidays, so I really let things go. And then we were on vacation for the better part of a month in January of 2020. And then of course, you guys all know what happened when we came back from, uh, from our vacation early 2020, we started hearing all about this new virus that was taking over the entire world that had everybody super freaked out and here we are over a year later and we are still going through all of that um now before covid had really really taken hold and uh shut everything down I had started going to the gym again. I was back on my diet. I hadn't put on quite as much weight as I thought that I did while we were on vacation. And so I was feeling really good. I was dropping weight again. I was back at the gym. I was climbing. And then COVID really, really screwed everything up. Shut everything down and sent me right back to apathy. Like I, I couldn't go out and work out. I didn't have space for a home gym, let alone the money for it. Um, our backyard wasn't done yet, so I, it's not like I could have found a, uh, a used workout center and put it on our back patio because we didn't really have a usable back patio at that point. And, I mean, now that we have one, our yard is really nice looking. I don't really want to put one back there anyway. Uh, so we did recently invest in some workout equipment, but when COVID first hit, as a lot of you probably know, uh, there was like no workout equipment out there. If you could find it in stock anywhere, it was super, super expensive. People were uh, gouging because there was such a high demand for it and such little supply. And so it's like, what was I gonna do? Uh, I had started doing like push-ups at home on a daily basis, but um, you know that that lasted for a while, and then we had my birthday weekend, um, and after my birthday weekend, I kind of came home and my back started hurting again, and so I stopped doing the push-ups. So. Right now, basically, what I really want to do is get back into working out. I'm going to start cleaning up our bonus room so that I can set up our home gym, get everything done, and I'm going to get back into a, uh, a regular routine of push-ups and lifting. Um, I would like to, hopefully, by the end of this month, be back up to 100 push-ups a day minimum. And um, if I could do that, I would be really, really happy. Um, just to be fully transparent here, I think it'll help me for my own personal accountability. I had dropped down at my lowest weight was 238, and I am back up to 286 as of this morning. So, you guys stick with me, you'll get to hear all of my, uh, my progress stories, how things are going, where I'm doing well, where I'm not doing so well. Um, luckily, I'm not struggling super hard right now, but that may change throughout the course of the day. 24 hours are typically the absolute hardest. Uh, but I think the last couple of times that I did a 72-hour fast, it was day two that was the one that really kind of kicked my ass. So hopefully, me. hopefully I will start getting through things a little bit um, better again. And uh, I'll nail this first 24 hours down really easily. Tomorrow won't be too difficult. Once I get into day three, I should really be feeling a lot better. And then Saturday, we're breaking our fast. Uh, and we're going to refeed with basically whatever the hell we want. Um, so I'm actually really excited for next week because not this Saturday, but next week after my next 72-hour fast, we're going to be doing chili for dinner uh, this cooler weather that we've been having here in Southern California. Not like, not like Texas or the rest of the world right now, but it's definitely pretty cool for Southern California and it's really been having me crave my 
my dad's chili and uh, I haven't had it in such a long time so we're going to be doing that pretty soon. I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, 286 right now. I would like to be down 10 pounds by the end of this month and back up to um, 100 push-ups a day at least. Uh, not to mention I'm going to be uh, starting on the bench uh, working out my chest and triceps and uh, and hopefully figure out a way to uh, start working my back muscles. I know I could get um, my biceps done but I usually do back and biceps on the on the same day as well so I got to figure out a good way to get some some back exercises done. I do have a good barbell and a bench and uh, some good plates and I've got a couple of adjustable dumbbells so uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a really good routine in here and I need to start getting outdoors with the kids a little bit more and going on walks and stuff. I, I really wish that I had the space for a kayak right now. I would love to be able to go a couple of weeks down to like Newport Harbor or something and spend an hour or two just kayaking as hard as I can. Um, not really much on cardio, uh, but I really enjoy kayaking and I think that that would be a great way for me to get some cardio and upper body workouts in. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. 286. Uh, it's not a good feel for me. I, I don't like that I've been buying 2X hoodies lately because 1X doesn't fit me anymore and I really don't want to start pushing back into that 2 and 3X territory where I was before. Um, it's a, a bit of a reality check for me knowing that I made my way almost all the way back up to where I had been before. I mean, I'm still considerably lower than I was at my heaviest, but I'm far too close to it for comfort. I'm closer. I'm closer to my heaviest right now than I am to my lowest, and that to me is just unacceptable. Um, well, don't really know what more I can say right now. It's been about 12 and a half minutes. Um, I think I'm usually going to try to keep these things at about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on really what I have to talk about. And, you know, give me your tips, any advice, any critique on how you guys think this video went. I would really appreciate it. Uh, it would help me figure out what kind of content I should be putting out. What are the things that I should be talking about? What are the things that maybe I can gloss over a little bit more? And if you guys have any questions, advice, or uh, your own personal stories, I would love to hear about it. I would love to talk about what you guys have been going through uh, or what your own personal routines are. If you have any questions for me about my own progress or the things that I'm doing that you would like to hear me specifically talk on, I would really appreciate that as well because it'll give me more stuff to uh, put out there on my next video. Uh, I'm sorry if the um, audio on this was a little shoddy today. Uh, again, my first time trying this, uh, I know that I've got kind of a loud truck and I had my air on full blast at the, at the beginning of the video, so I'm not sure what that's going to sound like. I also don't know if you guys are going to be able to clearly hear me over my daughter's lovely singing. Uh, she really, really loves to sing constantly, so kind of hard to stop that. Not that I would really want to because I personally love hearing her sing. <laughs> Uh, Jax is actually remarkably quiet today. He's usually the one who's yelling at the top of his lungs, but he's kind of just chilling right now. Um, yeah, baby, we're going to grandma's house. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully next time I'll be in the car by myself. That way you guys can hear me and uh, there won't be so much crosstalk and, uh, and baby singing. Because as beautiful as it might be, if it's cutting out, uh, your ability to hear what I'm talking about, then this whole video is kind of pointless, isn't it? All right, well, thanks a lot, you guys. Um, you'll get another progress video from me uh, in a couple of days. Take care.